Well, all right, guys, snow is coming down. It's snowmageddon around here. <laughs> it's about 1.30 in the afternoon, maybe closer to 2. And uh, I just got out and did a quick little shovel so it's not so bad later. So I got the sidewalk, but it's already covering up, as you can probably see. It's supposed to keep going snowing until like 3 in the morning. So, lots more shoveling to do. In the meantime, uh, we'll probably play some of our games, finished editing some videos, gotta get those up. And uh, yeah, that that continues, even though there's snowmageddon today. So, continue working on videos. Well, I'm in the garage again. I was about to work on my uh, one of my woodworking projects here. Um, I don't have a whole lot of room because, of course, I still have all this stuff in one side of the garage. And in the other side of the garage, we have our new car. Um, and I don't want to pull that out because it is still snowing heavily. So let's keep the car clean from snow. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, as I mentioned, snow blower. I have never ever, I don't know why I still have it, because I've never ever been able to get it started in the winter during or after it snowed. I could get it started in the fall maybe, but not in the winter, not so much. So, I'm gonna see if I can get it started. Wish me luck. Well guys, I have to report this little sadness here. We've had a death in the family. Our poor Xbox. This is a hit on our entertainment and also on our game channel. Gotta figure out what to do here. Let's see if I can fix it. Well, good morning guys. As you see, we still have the Christmas tree up, but Maybe not for long. That's right. I always dread taking the Christmas tree down. Not this year. See ya. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ready we're ready. The, ready for it to go away. Uh, there's still gifts under there because we have littles in our life that have all been struggling being sick. So we're keeping our germs to ourselves and hoping they yep. get better and they're keeping their germs to themselves. So we'll see them when we see them, but we'll put those gifts somewhere else. 
take that tree down. I don't think Rookie's going to be happy about it. He loves the light over there, and he loves to scratch on the tree, but... Yeah, he sure time. does. It is time. What do you think about that, Rex? Huh? You want all this Christmas stuff down for now? Done for another year, huh, buddy? Okay, well, first, before we can put away some of this Christmas stuff, it's time to get something to eat. Um, I am going to have this Maruchan ramen noodle soup, soy sauce flavor. It used to be called Oriental, but now it's soy sauce. So noodles in there. Little packet of flavor. It's pretty simple, but delicious. All right, Christmas is no more. <laughs> Tree's gone. Got everything put back in its place. The little poor little rookie doesn't have anything to look at anymore. Except for me, right, Rex? Okay, so update. Why I got a sore throat. Yeah, we. <clears throat> Neither one of us feel great. I think two days ago, I kind of said when we went to bed, I kind of feel yeah. like I'm starting to get a sore throat, right? And then in the morning, I woke up with a sore throat. <laughs> and then this morning, it was horrible. It hurts so bad. Yeah. All this time, we've avoided people like, you know, I won't even use the expression cause, <laughs> because he, you know, if you know, you know. But we have avoided people. We let our guards down a little bit and saw, I don't know, five people over the holidays. Yeah. 
and now we're sick. No, six people. And now we're sick. And uh, so we're just taking care of ourselves. What it does mean, though, is you probably won't see any new videos from us on the food channel <laughs> for a couple of days. We think yeah. we have some things that we can put together some lost footage kind of stuff and get out, but we are not in any position to film. And if this is the beginning of something worse, then, uh, you know, we might skip a couple of days. We might have to, and we, we hate to do that, but we have no choice. Yeah. We don't know if this is the thing or not. Um, you know, it's not that bad yet. I just have a sore throat and just kind of, you know, tired and stuff. But um, we're just assuming that it is for now and uh, acting staying, accordingly. Yeah, staying home and yeah. Yeah, I mean, first of all, we don't feel like doing anything or going anywhere. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we're we try to be very responsible with that. I mean, I don't like to see other people if I, if it's just a cold, let's say. Right. I don't. I don't want to get anybody else sick, and I and not only that, I certainly don't feel like I have the energy to do anything. So. That is our current situation. We are laid up. Ricky's over there. I don't know if you can see him around John's foot. He's in his little basket. We did get the Christmas stuff down. Yay. We kind of pushed through yesterday, and today we're just going to hang out and uh, rest, drink plenty, all the things. Is, yeah. So uh, that's where we're at. Hope you all are staying safe and healthy and we'll definitely update you hopefully it's just a little case of the sniffles or something hey somebody's got a hole in their pants i can see from here <laughs> i think hey, people can see that from space these are my comfortable pants <laughs> leave me alone for them <laughs> anyway uh i don't even know what i was saying i feel like crap that's that's the point of this <laughs> yes well there's no update but Ricky can't bear the thought of us being sick any longer. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's so cute. <laughs> uh, we got absolutely nothing accomplished today. I, I got a little nap in. That was nice. Uh, we haven't eaten much. We just, yeah. Rough day. So, hopefully tomorrow we'll wake up feeling better. We'll update you then and I'm sure rookie <laughs> I'm sure rookie will be doing many more exciting things tomorrow or that same exact thing we'll see also what the heck <laughs> judge steve harvey when did that happen <laughs> new show i guess strange uh, we thought we'd share a couple of interesting things that we've watched lately. One of them being this one. We love food. You know we do. And we started watching Crime Scene Kitchen, which is really good for... Uh, well, I love the premise of it. Yeah. I hope they end up doing something that's not just desserts, but... This is, um, you can read the premise right there. Bakers must decode what type of dessert was made using crumbs, just crumbs, and a few elusive clues. So they get to go into a little kitchen. Yeah, and they look around and look at, like, and taste things. And... There might be something left in a bowl, and they have to, yeah, taste it or smell it or whatever and figure out what was used. And um, not only what was used, but... You know, they might see lemons, but was it a tart? Was it a cake? Was it a right, trifle? Right. Whatever. So they have to figure out what was made and recreate it. So that's really a fun one that we like. That's um, Joel McHale and Curtis Stone and then uh, Yolanda. Okay. Yeah. And then also another one we start watching. Like I said, if you're into food shows this is a new one and uh gordon ramsay has the hell's kitchen young guns which we might start watching but i can only i only need one gordon ramsay show at a time i think <laughs> yeah you know what i mean You'll, you can only take so much <laughs> well i don't like to i like to watch like a reality show a cooking show 
um, a drama, like one of each, you know, different type of show. So our Gordon Ramsay show at the moment is this one. Next level chef. We started it last night and I think there's, I don't know, two or three episodes out. So we also both really like Richard Blaze, who's in it. So uh, I guess the the interesting thing about this we don't really know how the game's going to play out because we just saw the beginning where they're kind of like picking teams, but there's three mentors and you can see kind of like over to the right, there's three levels of kitchens. So the top level has like everything and everything, all the latest technology, and then it goes down from there. And you also get first pick at your ingredients if you're on the top level. Yeah. So again, we're not sure how that is actually going to, you know, play out because we only saw the introduction. Yeah, the first episode. Yeah. Yep. So that's what we're watching as far as food shows go. Let us know what you're watching in the comments, especially if it's a good food show. Well, we have a couple of good ones going. We love Hell's Kitchen. We love Master Chef. We love Top, yeah, Chef, Top Chef. All those things. So anyway, let us know if you have a recommendation or if you're watching either of those.